lot of people think about, you know, speaking of like power draw, like actually like from a battery in a laptop, a lot of people have thought that like Ryzen is going to be better battery life, but throughout tests, like a laptop equipped with, you know, the Intel like Evo platform, like those like i7-11-65 G7s versus like a 5800U or a 5700U, the Intel will often get more battery life. Now, obviously huh. I'm not pushing the laptops in a custom way. I'm allowing them to do their thing, but it's also been interesting there um, that you'll see more uh, battery life out of that unit. And also sometimes once you plug it in, slightly more performance. So like the way that they're balancing the performance and power consumption can be better in Intel actually, um, even in 11th gen. So I'm curious as they get 12th gen mobile chips, what that'll look like. Yeah, that's a bit different to what I've seen. Okay. I guess I mostly focus on the gaming laptop stuff though. Yeah. So I don't think I've ever even tested like a Ryzen 5000 U series. Okay. I've only done like H series. But from the H series stuff, at least in the battery tests I run, generally Ryzen is both better in terms of runtime, but also better in terms of performance on battery. I agree. I agree with for that for H series. Absolutely. Like I've seen like the HS... Uh, those are insane with battery life. They are so efficient. And then you're right, like the the H from Intel, it's like, it's terrible. <laughs> so it's so yeah. interesting how the, the, the divide can split between those two user bases and, and expressions of the, of the CPU. And then M1 comes along and destroys them all. I actually finished my battery test uh, of that earlier today, and it's the top of my graph by far. Yeah, like, it's, it's like not even close. Way up there, it's like oh, you can't <laughs> yeah, even see it. It's completely different. Yeah. <laughs>